It was originally um, a series in London called Agony. And uh, it was brought over here by these lovely people, CBS again. And um, it was about a, a radio psychologist, Jane, blah, 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 whatever, Jane, who cares? I don't remember her last name, I don't care. And, and uh, we shot a pilot and they liked it and they bought it and then they recast everybody in it except me and the girl playing the secretary. I could never figure out how this works out here. But it was bizarre, you know, yes, we love, it's perfect, the people are hysterical, let's get rid of them all and let's get a whole new group. I mean, they fired Chip Zion and uh, some of the most talented people I've ever known in my life. But we ended up with an interesting second group, Tony Roberts for one, and uh, they changed the name of the show, CBS changed the name of the show to The Lucy Arnaz Show because they said, Agony was too short of a title and nobody will ever find it in the TV guide. <laughs> But you gotta laugh, like, oh, you mean like ER or MASH, or anyway. So, but that was the name of the show. And we did six, six, six. of them. Yeah. It was uh, produced, and the head writer and producer was one of the funniest men in show business who just passed away a couple of months ago, Sam Denoff of Persky and Denoff, who wrote mm -hmm. the Dick Van Dyke mm -hmm. show and That Girl, and such a funny man. And I adored working with him on this show. And we shot it in New York. And it was a one camera show, not a situation comedy in front of an audience. It was, we were shot a comedy, one camera, unique and uh, different for me. And I was, <laughs> we shot the pilot. And during the time that the pilot was shot and we went back into production, I got pregnant with my third child. And I had, I'm gonna have it, I'm not gonna not have it. So I had to call them and tell them that I was pregnant. And Sam said, okay, well, we're just gonna write faster then and uh, we're gonna go into production even faster than we meant to. And we did. And uh, if you ever see any of these shows, it's very funny because I wear a lot of sweaters, a lot of coats, and I carry lots of boxes because they didn't want anybody to know I was pregnant. And I had my daughter, Kate, uh, right after we finished filming those shows. But it was a very, it was a very unique experience and uh, well written, and I enjoyed doing, I enjoyed doing it a lot. I loved my character, but it was on for a while, and then it was like, okay, you're not on anymore, and that's the way it goes. When they changed the name to the Lucy Arnaz show, were you comfortable with that? I thought that was stupid. I mean, it was, it just seemed wrong. It's not like the Carol Burnett show, which is a variety show. Why is it called the Lucy Arnaz show, and I'm playing a character called Jane, whatever, Doctor Jane, somebody? And it just seemed wrong. Jane uh, Lucas. Lucas, thank you. It was the Dr. Jane Lucas show. And um, part of me was flattered because my name was like out there, but it just, it, you know. Listen, I make terrible decisions for myself in that respect. I remember sitting with Neil Diamond in the trailer and he was saying, you know, you really should sing in this movie with me. And I said, no, why would I do that? My character doesn't sing. My, just, my character's like a regular, this is not one of those, this is not Sound of Music where people just burst into song when, you know, when they're cooking. You sing when you're supposed to be singing and my character doesn't sing, so I wouldn't sing. Now, wasn't that a stupid thing to say? <laughs> I think the camera's going, yes. <laughs> because, of course, the movie did okay and the album has gone triple platinum. I mean, no, I don't want to sing with Neil Diamond. <laughs>